Um, they found archaeologists found five skeletons. Yeah, what was this? I saw at a former Nazi military base in Poland at a place known as the Wolf's Lair. Okay, can I be honest? That's really not really not a big news item. And only five. By the way, they found five skeletons at a Nazi, Nazi encampment. Camp. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you read history? Because that's well, four they were holy god, five. the Nazis were bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. The Nazis let skeletons. No, they're like, missing what? their hands and feet. Oh. Um, oh. Okay. Well, it's a little worse. <laughs> so that was kind of bad. The hands and feet were chopped off of the bodies. They figured out already that three were adults, uh, one teenager, and one newborn baby. Wolves. I just thought this was interesting. Again, it's not they had interesting. To figure out. Hey, this one's much smaller. <laughs> I wonder what this I one could have been. It's like people have this been. Is a tiny a is, a, is this a tiny grown man or is this a baby? I'm just sorry. Some of the news is like not really. It's it's interesting to me because of what we're going through and seeing right now in Gaza and with Israel and here in this country with people doing Hamas. Nazi parades Hamas. and Hamas. I'm I. Well, I said what we're seeing in Gaza. You're saying Israel and I, I, what I, Israel. I, I didn't say anything. I wasn't passing right, any right, judgment. Right, I was right, saying I'll back it down. I'll back people it down. at war and yep. killing each other and attacking people for something that they don't like about them, that they made up. Mm -hmm. They look, what and, they believe. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, you look at this also in Ukraine. This kind of reminded me in Ukraine how they're, they're up on human rights charges because it was discovered that russian soldiers were raping and beheading m women and children yeah. and it's like why can't we learn ever that's what this we, made me we, think we, we discussed this so here's what happens <clears throat> we have world war ii then we have we have 50 years right okay. how many generations in 50 years three four Sure. Well, whoever works out. All right, so have a long generation. Now, so then we then we get that next generation, and this so so it's been diluted. The war was talked about by grandpa, right, or or, or dad. Dad told mm -hmm. told the kid, "Do not go to war. It's horrible. It's horrible." Then that kid went. Well, now my dad said it was the worst thing ever. Then grandpa tells the kids tells the, tell, tells the kids. So you got dad and grandpa talking about how horrible the war was. Then those kids go, "Yeah, we heard the war was horrible," and it starts to fade a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you go to the next generation to go. Yeah, my grandpa was in the war. No, your dad was fine. Now we've had a great life so far. Everything's fine. Then you go to the next generation and they stop talking about the war. Yeah. So now we're four generations down and the fifth generation's like, I'm playing. Who is that? You know, Halo. I'm got Halo. Oh, I'm killing people. And there's no consequence. We shouldn't have to have one to be reminded of it. Exactly. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, well, but then again, we've got the Republicans who don't want to teach history. They don't want to teach uh -huh. history anymore. They don't want to. They don't and they want, want a king again. Yeah, and they and they want to. No, it's not a king. We just think the president should have total immunity to kill or do what he wants. It's not a king. He's still the president. Yeah, any ki king by another name is still king. Um, we are in a place right now in America where I believe we are. This election, and 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 we keep saying this is the most most important election in history. This one actually mm -hmm. is. Yeah, this one actually is because yes. we have a guy that will literally listen. Trump will die one day and Eric will be president. Are you uh, okay with that? No, yeah, exactly. I think he's putting yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Jr. up first. No, Ivanka will be. If he gives you like the Ivanka. No, Ivanka's be. not having much to do with him. No, Ivanka bailed out. By the way, they finally got here's the thing. Here's how here's how bad Trump is in trouble. The only after all these weeks in court, the only person that showed up finally was Eric. And he showed up after lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Eric. <laughs> what did he show up for? Like it wasn't a good one. It and it was a... after all the media outlets for a week reported that no yes. one came to support him. His wife wasn't there, although Still. he did wish her a happy birthday from the court steps, where he's at trial for sleeping with a porn star and a Playboy actress while she was pregnant and God giving damn. birth. How is this their birthday? Happy birthday! I want to wish happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday this... to my, my wife are, Melania. Those are t-shirts. How <laughs> is this your fucking guy? That's, how how is this guy those. would be a king? He's not. He doesn't even have any king king properties. No, there's no kingness no about this. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. He has no leadership qualities no, at all. He does not. He did an interview with Time magazine. This that was oddly frank. Uh, they spoke with him twice and a dozen, more than a dozen of his closest advisors and confidants. Um, Time magazine says that it outlined an imperial presidency that would reshape America and its role in the world. 
They want to carry out de a deportation operation designed to remove more than 11 million people from the country. Trump specifically and they said employ the military to do he's this. going to build migrant detention camps and deploy the U.S. military both at the border and inland. Stop. No, he's not. He already did it. We have pictures of it. We have we in fact our first video podcast was called Trump Camp. Right. Our yep. first video This podcast. is what I said to you yesterday when I said make it make sense. And yet he's polling higher with Latinx communities. Yeah, make it make sense. Well, he actually said that he's going to stop all immigration yes. too. So to the Latino people I want to say who have family in Mexico or family anywhere, um li listen, I I think there are our immigration system like if Reagan knew there was a problem and had to fix it and, and we've done nothing since Reagan, it's fucking time to come up with it. Oh, by the way, we had a bill, but the <clears throat> Republicans killed it. We had something that was going to that would give Biden the ability if he wanted to, to shut the border. It at, was going to automatically shut it down. At 5,000 people. To that. And he agreed to that. So immediately, as soon as the bill was signed, he right. said it, he would shut down the border. Right. And so and the Border Patrol Union backed it. On, and the Border Patrol was going to get like like make that make they were going to double the like double the size of the border patrol something like something crazy it was like eleven thousand or no uh, eleven hundred ice or, yeah border ice patrol. was getting all this money they were getting billions and and the border patrol was like oh god help us please mm -hmm. can we get drones can we get, can we get some video on these people and and the republican shut marjorie taylor green said she was going to get rid of mike johnson again these people say they back the blue they deny january mm -hmm. 6th now they yep. didn't at first and the border patrol says yes please to this bill and they kill the bill make it make sense i uh, again i ask you uh he also said that they would let oh uh, well so and he's going to build those detention camps along the border right he said he would let red states monitor women's pregnancies and prosecute those who violate the abortion bans so basically what's going to happen is if you uh they're, they're going to have got people a, a government agency that monitors your period if you don't have a period they're going to if you're pregnant they will put you in the lists you're pregnant then you'll be monitored to make sure you don't have an abortion so this is this this is the handmaid's tale. Uh -huh. It literally is the yeah. worst shit. It's the most dystopian, crazy mm. shit I've ever heard. But okay. And by the way, all you women out there that still think Trump's your guy, really? He would, at his own personal discretion, withhold funds that were appropriated by Congress, voted on and passed by Congress, according to his top advisors. He would be willing to. Uh, well, look, before we move on, he did that, or he attempted to do that with Ukraine. That's why he was impeached for that. Yeah, he actually it was a pay for play. Zelensky had to get information on biden but uh, congress had already voted those funds he wasn't going to get weapons to go to ukraine so uh, so you got a guy who is skimmed every business he's ever owned mm -hmm. who got sued for a fake ass college he did who literally has lied skimmed he just got fined what was it 250 million dollars on his taxes mm -hmm. so for, oh. for for cheating on his taxes um insurance companies won't work with him banks won't work with him and you're going to put this guy in charge of the money? Mm -hmm. And this is what he said he's going to do. Okay. Uh, he was will be willing to fire any U.S. attorney who doesn't carry out his orders to prosecute someone, which would break with a tradition of law enforcement being independent. Uh -huh. That dates from America's founding. It was part of our foundation. Yeah, Checks and balances. Separate. To the, to get the branches mm -hmm. of government separate. Mm -hmm. So he's going to basically, he's saying, I want these these podcasts that talk about me, the Tice podcast. Yeah. You need to prosecute those guys. Well, they haven't done anything wrong except, you know, use their exercise, their free speech. No, no, no. Titus goes to jail. Yeah. Yeah. I know some of you will be okay with that.